afternoon, guys. Most welcome to the session today. Thank you for joining us. Now, uh, today I wanted us to discuss on how best we are going to start our projects as we are um, working towards, uh, uh, towards creating solutions in the areas of health, economy, democracy, and security. And uh, we would like to really make this session as interactive as possible. And that's why we are not live today. Today is just a meeting that is private to us so that we get to discuss further and uh, make sure that we understand what is, what is at hand uh, in terms of your project development and prepare, uh, in, uh, and prepare to make sure that uh, we create our projects. But of course, you're going to do this with your guidance. So the beauty of this is to make sure that you guys create a, a project or a mobile application that you own that is yours. <clears throat> Excuse me, a mobile application that you own and that is yours. And then you, from there, if you want to have much more resources, we will be there to guide you as well. So I'm going to share my screen and then we can discuss a little bit on how we are going to approach this. And then I'm going to make sure that I recommend you uh, the best way you are going to start. So we, uh, I gave you a quick assignment uh, the other time. I just want to have a sneak peek uh, of what you guys have submitted. I really apologize for the background noise today. It's, there is some construction going on, but we'll do our best to make sure that you uh, able to understand uh, everything that uh, we are going to say today. So uh, the other week, uh, or uh, last, uh, during this week, we were able to give you some uh, sort of a form. We gave you a form in which you are, uh, we requested that you submit your ideas. And in these ideas, we just wanted to make sure that we hear from you. Uh, from the areas of health, economy, democracy, and security. So, just a second. Okay, I hope this is a bit quieter now. So as I was saying, I just wanted us to discuss further uh, on how we are going to proceed and how we are going to work on our projects in the areas of health, economic democracy and security. So as we are starting, there is um, a form I gave you guys to fill and that form is just to enable you or to make sure that you are able to share with us your ideas. And I'm looking at the responses. The responses aren't really many, but, uh, but uh, I would just want to discuss uh, a little bit on the ideas that you guys have submitted. Okay, so in the mobile app development, I can see the couple of you guys who I have, uh, have given the ideas, you want to work in health, uh, some like I can see Laura, um, Isaac, Laura, Isaac, and uh, Agatha, R Raquel. Um, we also have Lydia, Neema, Nancy Okumu, Clarice Wangare, uh, Femi, and Feva. You guys want to work on areas of uh, different areas of health, economy, democracy, and security. But if you haven't filled the form, it's not too late. I just want to make sure that I share with you and then you feel it. 
and from there it would be great uh, if uh, we continue uh, working on our ideas. So let me share with you the form again so that in case you haven't filled, just fill it with, uh, with us so that we can discuss further on these ideas. So I want to make this session an open session. Feel free to either maybe type in the chat or uh, you can unmute and talk to us. So if maybe you've chosen the area of health, economy or democracy or security, what idea did you have in mind? So as you're thinking about how you're going to answer that, I'm going to share a couple of ideas that people did in the previous time uh, so that you can have an idea of what you are supposed to create. And I, I think I've shared this with you already, but I just want to make sure I share with you again. Uh, the app is called uh, Socolito. Just I want to make sure that. So cool. Okay, so let me share my screen. So today's session is more open uh, in a way that you can, we, we are going to make sure that we discuss on how we are going to start our projects and our sessions. We'll just be making sure that we build uh, and create milestones so that we can be able to code together and uh, bring the solutions together. So let me also share my sound. Hi, my name is Vela. This is the app I developed called Soko Letu, which is an e-commerce platform for Mamboga and her customers. It aligns with the SDGs, no poverty, zero hunger, gender equality, and a bit in good health and well-being. Well, this is the that shows the benefits of using the app. And for Mamboga, and we'd like to be one of our vendors. You click apply to be one of our vendors and just require basic information such as your name, your mobile number, be part of our team. If you're a customer, you press start shopping, and this is the login screen. But if you're a new user, you press join the family where you'll be taken to the registration screen. And the same thing, it just needs basic information such as your name, your mobile number, and an email. Then you make a password which you'll use to log in. Then you press register. Then you'll be taken to the location screen and you pick your location and you'll be connected to your nearest Mama Mboga. There's Nurema where we have Mama John and there's Kasarani where we have Mama Jane. Then you pick the fresh produces that you want and the quantity. There's cabbage, you can pick three. Tomatoes, you can pick four of three. Onions, you can pick six of three. Then Dania, let's see, you can just pick to then you press calculate and it will show you your total afterwards you press request for delivery and show you have everything that you need be yes then you press send delivery message to mama Boga, and the amount will be sent as a text so it will show the produces that you've ordered and the quantity and your total then you press call for confirmation where you'll be in contact with your mom and boga. And that is how the app works. Great, so as you can see, the application is in the area of course of economy because it enhances uh, uh, ways or it improves the livelihood of people who want to uh, sell vegetables. So it is in the area of economy. Okay, so this is what I want us to think as about and think about the ideas of in, in such areas so that you are able to uh, create your solutions this way. 
okay so i want you guys to feel free and share with us because i want next week uh to, for us to just dive in and make sure that we create applications and uh from next week we'll make sure that excuse me we'll make sure that we we do it on milestone based so we can say for example uh, these first two weeks, for example, this week, uh, we are doing the ideation sessions to make sure that your ideas are thorough and your ideas are uh, worth using or your ideas are worth um, uh, working, uh, working for or your ideas can also generate income. So after that, uh, we start by next week as designing user interfaces, just user interfaces. I don't want you to think of uh, how the backend will work, Firebase, no. Just user interfaces and uh, bring your ideas to start uh, coming together, at least install it, look at how it, look, uh, it looks like in your phone. Is this something that you like? And then from there, we dive into backend. And in backend, we'll make sure that uh, you are able to create your apps or you're able to uh, make your apps work and then we can launch it. So we want to make this session as interactive as possible. So if, for example, uh, if last week you are not in the session, uh, we were able to send some airtime support. So just uh, raise your hand if you haven't, uh, if, you, if you didn't attend the session, but you've attended the session today, I want to make sure that I've shared with you the form so that we can reach out to you uh, later in the day. Just raise your hand or put a comment uh, before we start uh, brainstorming on our ideas. Okay, awesome, Lydia. Don't drop uh, your hand. I just want to make sure that anyone else other than Lydia, who was there? Oh, Grace, Grace as well. And then uh, uh, Clarice, great. That's awesome. So let me just drop a, a form so, the, so that the three of you can fill. Uh, the form, of course, only accept input uh, once. So let me make sure that I drop a, a form for you. Kindly fill it right now. We reach out, we'll reach out to you before the day ends uh, for you to receive uh, funds for internet support. So for those who've received, I know some of you have received last week and there are those who have received, uh, are receiving uh, as the day progresses. Uh, we advise you to use it sparingly uh, for you, for us to be able to code and attend the meetings uh, seamlessly and attend the meetings seamlessly. So let me share with you right now. Feel it very keenly because we want uh, we, for you to put your, your number correctly for funds transfer. Okay. So uh, I want, as I'm, I'm dropping the form, it's loading. <laughs> yes. Just a second. Okay, I think I've gotten it. And then, uh, so I want you ladies, uh, where is it, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I know we have gentlemen as well. Oh, the form has been, Okay, this is the form, the second one. The second is the form that I need you to fill. The first one was for ideas, the second one. So Lydia, Grace, and uh, Clarice, kindly fill the form. So I want you uh, guys to be able to tell me uh, about your, the idea that you want to work on so that we brainstorm, and then we can start thinking about user interface development as we progress, but of course with our guidance. So anyone who has thought of an app or a solution that they want to work on. Anyone? If you haven't, it's still okay. Would uh, would still love to know. But uh, anyone who would like to go, we will be, be very. Uh, even if it's not clear, we can brainstorm and ensure that your idea is clear. Don't fear. Okay, 
Okay, so I, I think uh, you guys still need some more time, but um, I just want to encourage you that you start uh, thinking about ideas that you're going to come up with uh, and create solutions. If, if it is the, in the area of economy, of course, it should be in the area of health, economy, democracy, and security. Uh, it can be in both, or it can only be in one, of which we advise uh, that in, in case you you really segment your idea, it would really be awesome. But if maybe you're going to work on all these areas, it's still great. So uh, the tips of how you're going to come up with the idea are as follows. Um, Oh, great, great, great. I, I can see you say you need more time. That's okay. We'll, we'll have more time. Don't worry. We'll have more time and uh, for you to think through your ideas. No worries at all. We, we will brainstorm. Uh, are you guys in echo with uh, AC as well so that you can, you, that uh, we can have some more time uh, to think about our ideas before the next session. Yes. Uh, also, thank you, Favor. I've also seen Adwatch in Priscilla. Thank you. Thank you guys for your response. Now, so yeah, for for the forms, for, for the ideas, let me just uh, give you an overview. It is in the areas of health, economy, democracy, and security. And uh, you can come up with any idea or in, in, in those areas. So let me start with health. Health, of course, as you can see, these four areas that we are talking about, they're the ones that are majorly impacted by the, were majorly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. So you can think of a mobile application that can solve this. There are people in the past, for example, who were able to solve uh, uh, by creating a mobile app. I'm just giving an example so that you can, as you're thinking through your ideas, or if maybe I mentioned an idea that you've been thinking about, you can brainstorm it some more as, uh, uh, as, as we go on. Okay. So you're saying, Lydia, are you, can you be able to hear? Ah, fantastic. Well, thank you for that, Lydia. So as I was saying, uh, we were thinking, if you're thinking about ideas in the areas of health, economy, democracy, and security, uh, these, uh, let me start with health so that I give you an overview of how you can come up with these ideas. So for example, in the area of health, as you, as you know, health was hardly hit by the pandemic. We have other diseases that, are, uh, that have been forgotten. We have also people don't know how, where to access places where they can test or get treatment for COVID-19, uh, a safe place. So uh, in the past, people are coming up with ideas in which they can be able to access uh, locations that test for COVID-19 or they can, uh, where they can get medications and things like that. And then maybe some support group or something of that sort. People come, came up with such ideas. Also in the area of health, people came up with ideas in which uh, medicine can be distributed uh, in case someone has, is ill and uh, they need uh, some medicine to reach them. They can be distributed and sold to them. As you can see, that is the area of health. Okay, and there are, and much more. It must not be only COVID-19, but health affects, I mean, it can be because of COVID-19, people cannot access uh, drugs. Like as you, as you saw, ARVs, you find that people would not access such. So you, you can create a solution that solves this and a mobile application. Now we are talking about technology. Okay, that is health. And then let me just think about economy. Economy is actually very wide. And uh, it can be in a way that uh, you create ideas that improve the economy of the country, Kenya, create employment to fellow youths, or generate income that can potentially also create employment to youth or women or vulnerable people like uh, the disabled people in the community. So you can think about those ideas in, in those areas that can solve your local community problem, okay? So think about a mobile application in that area. It can be in, in farming, uh, for example, to, dis to distribute seeds or farm farming equipment. It can be also in... Um, 
in uh, in the industry in any other industry uh, other it's, it's not farming alone it can be in any other industry as long as it is in the economy field it can be very in, in technology itself for example if you're dealing with technological equipment or you want people to find better housing you want people to uh, find better services that is in the economy field okay then we have democracy and uh Democracy as a country, for example, if I can give an example of BBI, I'm not being political here, and I'm not going to mention whether I support or I don't support, but as you can see, you might be thinking of an idea that gives people more information in an unbiased way, so that they can have a clear overview and make a decision about, for example, a particular candidate or an application that uh, can make people aware, create awareness uh, in, uh, for them to be able to make better political decisions. That is in democracy, okay? So if you're passionate about uh, democracy, you can think about ideas that solve that problem. In the, in the previous project, I saw some students or some ladies and gentlemen creating ideas in which they, they want uh, the democracy in their universities to be. Uh, seamless so they they did that as well and then we have the area of security security is self-explanatory you can create applications that uh, create awareness and security or a community watch application so that people cannot be vulnerable in the community okay so think about these areas i've given you let's say an overview of what you're supposed to expect and create Sour. So um, I'll make sure that I share with you the form in the group again, so that you can feel the ideas. Think about the ideas. I'll do a check-in on Wednesday with you guys, and or you might hear from uh, Shamim also. Shamim can do a check-in with you uh, on Wednesday, or uh, or I will do it. And then from there, feel free to DM us or even. Uh, call us and tell us about your idea. We will be able to brainstorm with you so that your idea can really come out well before we go to user interface development. Now, let me talk about user interface development so that you have an understanding of how of what is expected uh, as you're thinking about uh, your ideas. So now that you guys know how to create mobile applications or uh, able to learn in the previous weeks, you're able to learn on how to, to create mobile applications, we highly recommend that as you're thinking of ideas, you now break it down in a way that you can be able to make it a solution or a technological solution. Uh, I'm just giving an example of this Sokoletu again, because uh, in this idea, when she was uh, brainstorming about the application, she just wanted to say that uh, I want, the idea was focusing also in gender equality, of course, and economy. And she wanted, uh, at that time, the pandemic was really bad in a way that people were not moving around. And she wanted uh, the Mamambogas to be able to have a market and a delivery. So as you're thinking about your ideas, think about breaking them into solutions or thinking, think about breaking them into screens the way this app is. So that, uh, as you, uh, so that as we dive into creating the mobile applications, of course, we are going to do this and guide you through. So just think about the ideas. So for the user interface development, I would really highly recommend that we start on next, we, we start next Friday. And uh, I'll speak about it again, and then we can do some uh, home screens together. We can do some home screens together so that you don't have overwhelming um, responsibilities after the sessions, okay? So how do we create our user interface developments? First of all, it is important we seek inspirations. So I'll just speak, uh, I'll just talk about that, mobile app design inspiration. Just Google it, mobile app design inspirations. So when you look at, um, we have Pinterest, we have Dribbble, then I have one, of course, which is my favorite called App Labs, but I'm just going to open that in a short while. So let's look about at Pinterest. Pinterest has over, I can say, 100,000 uh, design inspirations. So uh, mobile application, of course, is also like you arranging your house. There are those who like minimalistic designs, the way Uber is, you just come to the app and order, and, uh, order a cab, and or you can, um, 
or maybe you like something that is go very involving, especially those who are creating e-commerce or selling and buying. They, they might you might want some application that uh, it really is a lot. It's having a lot going on so that people can make purchases and find what they want. So you can find really, really nice interfaces. And with this user interfaces, you can be able to recreate them on, you can be able to recreate them on, uh, on this tool, in, in this Codula tool. So I can just give an example, for example, like this COVID-19 has spawned mental health. And by the way, mental health is also in the area of health, okay? So as you're thinking about your applications, uh, mental health is also really important. So for example, this let's uh, think about this. Uh, for example, if you want to create a user interface like this in Codula, I'm just going to demonstrate that very quickly. And then we can, uh, uh, so that you see that this is, this is really possible, okay? This is really possible in a Codula so that you don't think and uh, make your ideas small, but you make your ideas rather um, workable, okay? So for example, if we are to create this, let me come to Codula, I'll create a new app, and then I'll call it, let's say, the project name, I'll call it Mentor. Mental health sample, okay? So, uh, of course, after this, I'll be able to share this video with you uh, so that you can just have a look at it later at your own time and try and create this, okay? So maybe I can give this to you as a small assignment for you to just recreate this and showcase to us in the group before the next session. But this is really easy so that we can be able to know how to create user interfaces. So as, we, as you can see from the inspiration, we have a dark background here. And then uh, we have a login and then join us now. So I can come to Codula. Of course, I don't advise you to really copy, but ins be inspired by it and create your own. So for example, uh, uh, that screen one, uh, title bar, I'll remove it. Uh, title bar visible, I'll remove it. And then after I remove it, I'll come and, uh, and add a background color. And it has a dark background actually. So the background color of the screen uh, is the second. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. The background color by default is white, if, especially if you choose a, a light theme. But you can choose black like that. Or if black is too dark for you, you can increase it a little bit. Uh, I, I mean, reduce the intensity because. Uh, maybe someone doesn't want the app to be really black. So, and then set that, yes. So it's black. And then uh, we, can, uh, we, can make, we can now start uh, putting our text. Uh, there was a text and two buttons. So we can start by adding a, a label. And then in this label, uh, of course, in this screen, we can maybe say the orientation. Uh, we can make the orientation uh, or the alignment uh, a line vertical to start at the bottom so that we have a small space at the bottom so we can choose bottom like that. And then when we choose bottom uh, here, we'll put a uh, width uh, 90, we can say, we can, we can just say width, uh, we can put about 90% like that. And then we can put our text first of all. So let me just look at the text that was written here. Home celebrity videos is a story info profile. So maybe we can just write uh, men, uh, mental health shouldn't be ignored. Uh, yeah, something of that sort. Yeah. So just being uh, thinking out loud and making something out of it. So we can come here and we can come down here and say, uh, Just a second, I want to make sure that my mic is really close to my mouth. Great. So you can see uh, something like this. Mental. So. Maybe after mentor, we want the, that line to move to another line. So we add a break tag 
like that. Shouldn't be, again, we add a break tab and then uh, ignored and then join us, we add. And then of course, these are HTML tags. We have to make sure that we have uh, a HTML enabled. So we come down here to advanced properties and then see, and then check on HTML format like that. And then we come and uh, make the text color white. So we choose white. And then we increase the size of this. So for the font size, we can try 26. And then we can increase the typeface to be, we can change the typeface to be font awesome, five, regular, like that. So um, we can also increase uh, what we call, we can also increase this break tag so that it's double, so that it breaks twice. Because, uh, yeah, we want it to be, to, to have a small, I'm just showing you how we are going to think about user interfaces so that we can create really, really nice interfaces. Yeah. Maybe that is too much, but we'll think, we'll see, we'll see. Mental health shouldn't be ignored. Maybe you can also make this text uh, to be 28, 28 pixels. Great. And then after join us, we're going to add a button. Uh, maybe we can make this uh, screen. We say the orientation of the screen is left. Maybe let's make it center like that. And then we can put two buttons below, uh, below this, uh, this text. So we can start with the first button, which is login. And maybe, for example, you want your, the theme of the website to, to be, let's say, uh, pink, I don't know, or purple. So you can say, so this uh, width, we can give it 90% as well. And then uh, height, we can leave it as it is. Font bold, and then we can increase the font size to be 16. And then uh, we can just change the text. We can change the text to join us. Or login, sorry. Login. Okay or I can put it in caps so that it stands out. Login, and then we can change the background of that text, uh, the background of that uh, button. Uh, okay, first of all, shape. I really like rounded buttons, but it's not a must, it can be rectangular. And then uh, we can uh, think of changing the background color to be, uh, let's say it's purple. Purple is what we want to use as the main theme. And then we can add a small space in general, space. We can put the space between the text first and give it a height of around uh, 35 pixels. And then put a space below here yeah, and give it a height of about 20 pixels. And then put another button. Uh -huh. Are you seeing how easy it is to really duplicate nice interfaces? So we can say this is 16 as well. And then background color, we can choose white. We can choose white like that. And then uh, font bold width, we can say 90%. And then uh, uh, we can say, uh, no, not typeface, we can say now the color of the text color. Sorry. Okay. The text should be uh, register with us. And the text color is not white, it is black. Or we can choose purple, uh, the purple so that it matches. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, the shape, rounded. And then for uh, for uniformity purposes, also we can add a small space so that that button does not lie at the bottom of the text. It does not lie at the bottom of the of the screen. We can have some breathing space at the bottom, just like that. And then we can give it a height of 20. Simple. I think how simple it is. 
if you check this uh, this simple interface, it has taken us uh, only 10 minutes to create a single page. So your application, since it's a prototype, it might be uh, it might be an application that will require a minimum of five screens and a maximum of eight screens. So if you're giving yourself 10 minutes per screen, you can imagine, of course, you'll seek inspiration first, and then let's say you're doing 10 minutes per screen. Are you seeing how easy it is? Within a short time, you're able to create a user interface. And that's what I would really encourage you to think about as we are going in the next session. The next session will majorly involve us uh, bringing about our user interfaces live like this. So, um, so any question up to that point, first of all? Any question? Oh, great. So um, as you're thinking about user interfaces, think about how you're going to create apps that uh, are really looking great. So as I was talking about, as you can see, it's not really similar. I used this as an inspiration, this one. I used this as an inspiration, but I came here and created something that doesn't really look like it, but it's custom to mine. So as you're thinking about inspirations, think about that. It is, are you coming up with ideas that are custom uh, to you or ideas that are uh, custom to you, but you're seeking inspirations from, uh, from somewhere else. So uh, from the interface, as in from the interface design, I'm going to give you something small as well to do as a small assignment. And then you don't have to wait for the next session. You can just post it in a group the moment you create it as you're thinking about ideas just for practice, okay? So I was talking about you seeking inspirations. I was talking about you having inspirations to create applications. We have Pinterest. And with Pinterest, you can really be specific. Like, as you can see, this is a blockchain mobile application or a blockchain type of mobile application. We have an engine shop website. You see, people are really posting inspirations in a lot of things. Yeah, meditation apps. Yeah, of course, there are uh, meditation applications that you can come up with. Yeah, and then there are uh, things like that, uh, graphics uh, application or transport application. So. Think about these areas. Think about these areas and come up with solutions that are in, I mean, and are a, that will be in the area of health, economy, democracy, and security. Okay, so if you've just joined us, uh, there is a form that we shared with you uh, in the chat uh, so that you can be able to fill if you didn't fill in the last week and uh, in last, during last week's session uh, so that you can facilitate you with funds for internet support. Uh, so feel it kindly and use it sparingly and always do your best to join us in our sessions so that we make our projects possible. Okay. Now, uh, Pinterest is one of the examples. You can really be specific. For example, if your application, uh, uh, also in economy, for example, you want to think about an application that will solve the issue of food uh, so that you can have food security. So you can think about coming up with an a, a, I mean, looking for user interfaces. For example, if I just search food, food app, uh, food mobile, food mobile app design. You see, food mobile app design. You will find a lot. As long as you are in Pinterest, there is the food delivery app. Uh, you can be able to see or the recipe app. So now, based on this, and even as you can see, the colors that they've used, and that's why I highly advise that you think about coming up with ideas that are, uh, I mean, you seek inspirations. For example, if you look at an, a, a user interface like this or like this, you're able to see that they really look very palatable in a way that you can be able to, uh, the moment you use these colors, you, can, you really make someone want to eat, okay? And of course, user interface and coming up with user interfaces uh, and these ideas are, uh, people uh, who have analyzed and thought about coming up with uh, or how they can, how the human brain works so that if you want them to eat, 
they come to your application, they are able to see that food they will order, okay? Now, that is uh, in terms of food. Maybe it can be in terms, you want to be, to have an idea that promotes uh, that you want to sell clothing, okay? So you can say uh, clothing, mobile, app design, okay? This is Pinterest, is one of my favorite tools to use. So for example, it is a clothing mobile app uh, design, as you can see, for example, you want to sell bags in the mobile application. Yeah, there it is. You find that the application, when someone looks at it and the way the photograph has been taken, it makes someone want, want to buy that device. So for example, maybe you want to sell bags or you are a group of people who are selling bags and you want to ship them countrywide or even abroad. You can have a mobile application. And then in this application, you can be able to market it and create really inter nice interfaces in a way that you're updating users of new uh, designs that are coming and then it gives them a notification. They can order, send a message, track their orders, you see. So that is in the area of economy. I'm just giving you an example. For example, you want a, a, a health application, okay? You can also Google that, a health, health mobile app design. Okay, health mobile app design. You are able to see that there are different categories. Okay, like this, there is care app in which people can be able to achieve their maybe health goals. For example, if people are obese, you want to, to, to defend your idea in a way that people have really been obese because of lack of movements because of COVID-19. So you want to create an application to be able to track and even uh, let's say, uh, feature Kenyan males. I've never seen an application that can track health of people and incorporate uh, devices and also uh, incorporate these health tracking devices like wristbands that track uh, health devices and incorporate meal plannings that are in Kenyan males. Now, you can think about such idea. And in the meal planning part, that's where you sell, okay? You say that for someone to buy uh, this uh, meal planning, of course, you have to incorporate a nutritionist. You don't do it, uh, let me say, you don't do it uh, kenyejikali, okay? You, if you have to be really professional in what you're thinking about. I'm just speaking about health. Or you can think about uh, any other idea. Let's say if it's a doctor appointment app or something of that sort. So seek inspiration from Pinterest. Pinterest is one of my go-to sites. And then other than Pinterest, we have Dribble. Dribble is also very nice in, have, uh, in showcasing our mobile applications. And you find that uh, you're able to come up with designs you're able to see designs that are really modern. So I want to encourage you to think about the modern designs because when you create designs that you just come up with them from your head, it might not be in relation to uh, what people are coming up with, sour. So another example or another quick example is uh, we have what we call material design, material design, and material design are designs that are design guidelines for Android for Android applications, okay? And that's why I, I am urging you guys to think about uh, seeking inspiration first so that, you know, these mobile applications that you have in Android, the moment uh, you create an application that is meant for uh, iOS or uh, what were iPhone, and then put it here, people will have trouble. They're not accustomed to it. Okay, so think about having a design that is either neutral and modern or that observes the material design guidelines of which I highly recommend. So when you look at the designs, it has really given out an outline of material theming that is dark theme, a light theme, and then uh, typography, uh, iconography, the icons that you use and things like that. So you don't have to overthink about that. That's why you're here to guide and uh, make sure that you're able to try that out. And as you can see, this, these are application inspirations that are created by my favorite tool by Google called Flutter. And we are hoping that even as you work on your apps and remarkably do your ideas, we'll be able to share with you a course and uh, share with you advanced uh, skills so that you can create your applications even with Flutter. So this is uh, material design. Think about how you can have a look at it and, uh, and look at the components so that you don't create your own things. You create applications that are really inspired by uh, the design, uh, design rules. 
okay? So for example, like these are components, like in all components of, uh, in Android, of course, uh, we have, of course, up bars, backdrop, as you can see, uh, so that you don't, uh, there's really simple designs that you don't have to overthink to come up with. And uh, as you can see, chips, data tables, let pickers. I'll be able to share this with you as we go along. So um, these are co all components and you also have Android specifically. Then we also have the web, uh, Flutter, Flutter, uh, the tool that I was talking to you about, then iOS, of course. And these are material components that you can use to create iOS applications. We shall discuss this as we go along if you guys are interested, okay? So um, any question so far before I proceed? Any question? Okay, okay, guys. So, um, so I want to encourage you to think about your ideas, okay? Think about your ideas, share with us. We brainstorm before the next session so that you can start creating your mobile applications, okay? Think about your ideas, share with us so that you can start creating our applications as soon as possible. And next week uh, on Friday, we are going to start with our single home pages, okay? And then the other week we'll finalize with the user interface development and dive into backend. We don't really need a lot of time uh, for us to come up with these ideas and bring an application live. So we can give ourselves, we are going to give ourselves a timeline. So next week uh, on Friday, we are going to start with uh, our home pages or our introductory pages if you have one or if your idea will cater for one. So we are going to think about that, create a mobile uh, application, uh, the, our landing pages or our home pages, and then uh, we can uh, give ourselves an assignment for us to implement login and sign up if your application has that. And then in the other week, we'll finalize. In case you have a, a dashboard or other things, we'll finalize. We're going to do it together. And then after you finalize and finish up with that, we are going to implement our backend and be able to submit our ideas. Remember, if you really create a great idea, there are rewards at the end. Uh, of course, the rewards are based on the areas of health, economy, democracy, and security. You will be awarded some gifts. You'll be given some gifts because of your ideas. But that's not the aim of this program, of course. That is just as an encouragement for your efforts. But we just want to encourage you to keep pushing on because once you come up with these ideas and then launch them to your local communities, you'll be able to create some employment for someone out there or you'll be able to create some portfolio for yourself. And even um, you, by just participating in this program, you'll get recommendations. And we've seen, like, uh, people coming out of these programs and really thriving in the areas of which that in the areas that they are so i just want to urge you to keep on pushing so i'm going to send you an assignment for you to create that page as you're thinking about your ideas and then uh, share with us i will give you of course a form to upload the assignment and then upload your ideas we'll discuss next week those are the only two things, very simple things. Only a one-page assignment for you to work on uh, during the week. We'll do a check-in on Wednesday so that you remember to put your ideas. And then on Friday, we can start with coding. Awesome. So if you don't have any questions, I would like to us to end here. I wish you guys a nice afternoon ahead. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you, of course, if, if you still have further questions, please feel free to drop, uh, to drop us a message, either a WhatsApp or call us. We'll be able to attend to you. Another thing is if you are in Mombasa, if you are in Mombasa, we can be meeting with you here on Friday, especially if you've started working on your ideas. We highly encourage you to come here on Friday. It would be great to meet uh, you. Uh, Shamim and I will be here. So Karibu Nisana, we really look forward to hosting you here. So have an awesome time and, uh, oh, any question? Sorry.
let me not lock anyone out. Oh, location, location. We are actually at uh, opposite Moy Avenue Road. Eh, ukishukia equity, mapembeni. Ukishukia equity, eh, you just, there is a road. I, I'm going to drop you guys a pin. Tafadhali karibuni. We are actually welcoming you on Friday, but not Friday alone. Just come anytime during the week. Sour. So I'll drop you guys a pin. We are opposite... Uh, Feed, we are next to feeder of offices, next to feeder op offices. Kama unajua AAR or you know Nairobi University Mombasa campus, ukitupigia simu if you are either there or you are at Equity Moy Avenue or you are at uh, feeder offices or AAR or uh, Nairobi University Mombasa campus, tutakupata. Sawa. So we are just close to go to Tao. Karibuni sana, we really welcome you guys to join us. Any question before I close? Oh, Feni, thank you so much. You're saying uh, the app inspiration is very resourceful. I'm really happy. It won't stop there. In case, let's say you're not even sure, you can still message us about your ID designs and let's say you found a design you really like and you're not sure how you to implement it we are here for you we'll be able to guide oh thank you Vima thank you Vima for the feedback again so guys have an awesome afternoon ahead thank you very much for joining us and uh, oh sorry Lydia as you're saying eight is the maximum number of screens you didn't get that clearly oh yes yes Lydia actually now, for prototyping purposes, uh, it's really important for you to come up with very minimum screens and reuse components as much as possible. A screen can be reused even up to eight times, okay? So that is a, an efficient way of creating mobile applications. Instead of creating resources, resources, resources that perform a particular action, you can reuse a resource uh, multiple times, okay? That's a really great question, Lydia. I'm just giving you an example. For example, there is a page that showcases, uh, uh, let's say it showcases uh, selling of particular items or categories of items. You don't need to create, uh, let's say you have 100 categories. You don't, uh, no, let me use a simpler example, 15 categories. You don't need to create 15 pages. You can just say, you can just input uh, or filter your data in a way that if someone selects a particular category, it showcases in that page uh, that category that they've selected, okay? So it is really important. Eight is really maximum, but you can even have five or six. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Lydia, for that question. Awesome. Any other question? I, I can see there is if a, a nice phone here in Phoenix Hot 7, I don't know who, you, what your name is, but do you have any question? We would happy to hear from you. Okay, so have an awesome afternoon ahead. We are looking forward to seeing you again in the next uh, in the next session bye everyone